Welcome back to Behind the Data Scientist by Shapelets. The series allows us to explore various topics in the data science community and empower data professionals. We will interview subject matter experts to dive deeper into the professional experiences and projects. I'm Fatima Ramos, and in today's interview, we continue our conversations on data science careers with Daniel Ruiz Antequera, a data scientist and researcher in the complex system group about football and networks from the University Rey Juan Carlos in Spain. Uh, Daniel works on player, player evaluation models, also on the analysis of a sports uh, performance and big data and machine learning techniques for the application in football. So let's, um, let's start the interview. Welcome, Daniel. Hello. Nice to meet you. Uh, yes, of course. Uh, I am a physicist. When I finished the degree, I studied a master about sports analytics and big data. After that, I joined the research group Football and Networks in Rey Juan Carlos University. And this season, we are very happy because we have been able to collaborate with two second division professional football clubs, such as Fuenlabrada and Eibar. With Fuenlabrada, uh, the collaboration has been especially close with constant communication with the entire uh, coaching staff attending the match. Uh, it has been a, a great experience. Well, when I was finishing a degree in physics, uh, I was convinced that data science was my next step. Mm -hmm. I think a profession with a great future. Um, in the last month of the course, there was a big data event in my university where I list listened for first time that this methodology uh, could be applied to sport. I saw that uh, there was uh, the possibility of mixing data and analysis with the sport, and it was clear for me. Feeling that you are helping to analyze and to solve problems that may have an impact on a football scoreboard, that feeling. Many names come to my mind, uh, Raul Belay from Elite, uh, Javier Fernandez, uh, Cellus Analytics, Mario Prieto from Atlético de Madrid, Jesús Lago, the Scout Analyst, uh, Sergio Llana, Football Club Barcelona, Manu Heredia from B Soccer, uh, Lauri Show from Manchester City, Ian Graham, William Sperman from Liverpool, uh, David Santer. But if I would have to choose only one, I would say the role model that I have at closer. Uh, Javier Martin Muldu, who is a scientific working on football analysis in football and network research group uh, like me. In the sports analytics world, uh, I think there are a lot of, of challenges for data scientists. But the main challenge, I think, is getting to speak the same language as the coaches mm -hmm. uh, when carrying out the analysis and that data help them to make decisions. The speed is what I value the most. In football, time is gold. Opinion, the key issue is choosing the information correctly, differentiating what is useful from what is interesting, so as not to saturate them with too much information. I work to solve coaches' problems or concerns, mm -hmm. so my first step is to formulate a specific question and from there with data and programming, I try to arrive to a solution or to give them relevant information about 
de puesto. For 2022 and uh, for the next years, uh, I would recommend being patient and keeping on learning new methodologies. Data analysis, analysis is going to spread along Spanish football, but the transition will be step by step. Uh, I'm convinced that in a few years, data scientists will be part of, uh, of the technical staff of any club. Uh, well, thank you, Daniel, for your answers and for taking the time to chat with us. Um, I'm sure your experience will help uh, many data professionals. So thank you again for, for joining us. In, thank you. Um, we hope to see you soon. See you soon. Thank you.